Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today's uh, topic for discussion is cholesterol. A lot of us have uh, many questions, you know, the terms that comes around uh, cholesterol. Uh, in terms of uh, what do you mean by cholesterol? Is really cholesterol important to our health? And what do you differentiate or how do you differentiate good and bad cholesterol? Why should you be concerned about cholesterol in your health? Or what makes your cholesterol go up? Or how do you treat or how do you bring your cholesterol down to your normal levels? And what are the medications that you can take for cholesterol? All right. So these are the questions that we are going to discuss in this video. So if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel yet, please uh, go ahead and uh, hit the subscription button and please make sure you hit that, uh, that bell icon button so that you will get all my videos that I'm going to post down the line. And um, if you like this video, please like and share with your friends as well. Okay. What do you mean by cholesterol? See, our body requires cholesterol very, very much. You know, without cholesterol, I wouldn't be standing in this shape. See, each and every cell wall, you know, our body is made of trillions and trillions of cells, right? So the cell wall is made of cholesterol layer, okay? If this is a cell and that cell outline is made of cholesterol, like we call it lipid layer. Without that layer, the cell contents will not be in a shape. The cell is not, will not be, the cell will not be in shape, okay? So cholesterol is very important. How do you differentiate good and bad cholesterol? See, when you take a blood test and uh, when you look at your blood reports, it might say like uh, uh, total cholesterol is like 250 or LDL is like over 130 or HDL or LDL, HDL ratio, triglycerides, you will see a lot of subcomponents. How do you assess or how do you get to know which is good cholesterol, which is bad cholesterol, right? So when you see uh, when you see your blood reports, it may say total cholesterol is 150. 150 is not high, but if it's over 200, it is high. Okay. Some people cholesterol reports may say total cholesterol is 180. Okay. So cholesterol is normal. You can argue, but if you look at the components of the total cholesterol value, that HDL may be like 30. But remember. HDL should be over 50 or 60 for women and men. Okay, it should be over 50. I mean, the more the merrier. If your HDL is more than 50 or 60, it is too good. And on the other hand, your LDL. LDL is a low density lipoprotein. Your LDL should be below 100. If your LDL is over 100, like for example, if it's like 120 or 130, like 140, for example your LDL is high but your total cholesterol is normal still you have a cholesterol problem okay you need not for example if your total cholesterol is high and your bad cholesterol is high your risk is high your total cholesterol is normal and your bad cholesterol LDL is high you still have problems okay total cholesterol and good cholesterol should be over 50 60s okay and what makes your cholesterol level goes up see it all depends what you eat what you are if you are eating uh, healthy nutritious food items that will treat your health very well if you are eating uh, like oily food items like uh, unsaturated fatty acids and uh, you know uh, complex starch items and uh, they are gonna go into your body and your body has got the ability to digest uh, some of them okay and the rest will be stored in your liver so that excess cholesterol will be roaming around in your blood and then uh, your liver will get fatty liver because uh, your liver is like a storehouse you know for example uh, if you have uh, you know unwanted products or unwanted stuff in your house where do you keep them you do most of the stuff you don't throw out thinking that you might you might require it you know down the line so what you will do you will just take it to, you will take it safely and put it in your storeroom right and your liver is like storehouse everything gets stored in your liver so more cholesterol goes into the liver everything like fatty acids cholesterol proteins everything goes into your liver because your liver is a storehouse okay so if you are consuming more amount of fat you know after you use up some amount of cholesterol the rest of the cholesterol goes into your liver and becomes you know uh, adipose tissue and 
people put on weight put on more cholesterol put on fatty layer they become they develop a big tummy right you understand what i mean and how do you reduce your cholesterol levels there are various ways to go by one is a non pharmacological ways non pharmacological ways means uh, no medication with medications in no medications uh, there are certain ways right first of all diet main thing is diet always 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 first thing is diet and next thing is like exercises physical ac activity okay and third thing is like we called water uh, and fourth thing is sleep is also essential okay and on the other hand if you are if you are okay for treatment if you are okay if your cholesterol is too high and you know for example if your ldl is like 160 130 and your total cholesterol is also on the higher side and if your doctor or if a physician thinks that okay this guy if we put him on a diet management he may not do well if i think so then i may start you on pharmacological treatment or medications right away depends on your cholesterol values or depends on your lifestyle all right so non pharmacological way non pharmacological way means i said no medication right so diet this is more important when it comes to diet salt oil sugar three things are very essential right d e w s four things d e w s four things are very important in diet we got three things three things in diet alone we got three things so salt oil sugar so salt is very important okay salt sodium is equal to blood pressure for example the normal amount of sodium that is required for adult person for a day is approximately six gram okay if i don't have blood pressure my my rd of sodium for a day is six gram if already has someone got a high blood pressure then they should reduce their uh, intake of sodium which means like probably like five gram a day okay and uh, next thing is oil i said uh, salt oil sugar right so oil when it comes to oil you have to have a um, saturated fatty acids so most of the uh, most of the vegetable oils are unsaturated fatty acids okay and um, this oil many people do not have any idea like how much oil is very essential how much oil for example if i ask you to only take only 500 ml of oil per day for sorry per month okay for one person a family of four people a family of four people needs only four into half a liter two liters a month if you take more than two liters for example uh, in a lavish family they are taking like uh, two three liters per month uh, for four people as far as our uh, mathematics four into half two liters but a family takes three liters oil every month which means the excess one liter oil is not a oil that is required for your body because the body requires 500 ml that family requires two liters that is that is supplied by these two liters alone the excess one liter is nothing but pure fat okay if you are having one kilo fat every month just do your mathematics one kg into 12 months like 12 liter of fat you are having okay 12 in a family of four people 12 liters of fat every year so 12 by 4 you get the answer 3 so you are having 3 liters of fat every year and do more mathematics every year 3 liters of fat then like 2 years 3 years you understand what I mean in 3 years you are catching up with like 10 kilograms of fat then why wouldn't you be putting on weight man you understand it's very simple so what do you eat what do you are it's very simple so eat less oil that's what i'm saying okay five 500 ml for a month means 15 ml per day that's it that's very simple if you're a person okay i come i'm a chennai okay I, it's a south indian i'm a south indian guy so my usual my breakfast is always like um dosa idli and um, um, every now and then uh, Obama and Upma will be there uh, but mostly dosa idli and then uh, uh, in summer season we have this delicious uh, breakfast called uh, parid so parid means like the, the white rice left over from last night put it in some water and then some salt into it the next day morning you drink it that's the most delicious and nutritious 
drink as well okay so uh, for now we have discussed about oil right uh, 500 ml for one person for a month okay and then last thing is sugars so I would say like uh, white sugar people who have diabetes uh, they say that you know doctor I don't even uh, put any sugar into my you know coffee or tea see a, a teaspoon of sugar may give you only like 40 or 50 calories okay but one idli gives you around 60 to 70 calories which one is worse okay just because you are having diabetes i'm not asking you to cut down on i mean i'm not asking you to avoid sugar at all if you love sugar like we can just add like one fourth a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of sugar into your tea or coffee and you can have it as you wish but physical activity is important more important right so 30 minutes a day every day 30 minutes every day what all I'm asking you to walk, brisk walk, 50, 30 minutes a day, just five days a week. Not I'm asking you to like one, one week, the whole thing, right? Five days a week. So the, my, uh, my question is this, 150 minutes walk is very essential or not? 150 is very essential. Like 30 minutes a day times five days, it comes around 150 minutes. So with your regular physical activity, with your... Uh, control your diet which means salt oil sugar with with this proper diet and a regular physical activity you can control your cholesterol levels okay i hope i have covered much and then uh, there is some still left in cholesterol topic to be discussed i will leave it for further videos and uh, if you find these videos interesting just please go ahead and hit the subscription button down below guys i will see you next video until then i'm signing out